So Metapivat is uh, an uh, oral novel first in class uh, activator of pyruvate kinase, um, which you know, by, by activating pyruvate kinase, if we remember the glycolytic pathway, will rev up ATP production in our red cells. And red cells are reliant on ATP produced via anaerobic glycolysis. Um, and their lifespan, uh, in many cases, is tied closely to the amount of ATP present. In increased ATP allows red cells to maintain their membranes. Decreased ATP results in premature hemolysis and all the problems, premature uh, uh, death of red cell and hemolysis, all the problems that come along with that. Metapivat, uh, uh, we have an FDA approval now in PK deficiency. At this meeting, we're presenting data uh, uh, concerning uh, patients that were actually non-responders in the clinical trial comparing those patients to uh, patients receiving placebo, and they did better. So even though they didn't meet the clinically defined criteria for response, they still did better than patients receiving a placebo. Um, uh, there's additionally data being presented at ASH this year describing uh, the improvements in health-related quality of life in patients receiving metapivat. Um, uh, there's uh, ongoing uh, Energize and Energize T studies, which are uh, phase three trials of metapivat in thalassemia both non-transfusion dependent and transfusion dependent thalassemia. And this is in follow-up to a, a very successful phase two study that, was, that we recently published in The Lancet um, that was, uh, again, a positive study looking at metapivat to improve hemoglobin and alleviate hemolysis and thalassemia. Finally, there's a lot going on with metapivat. Finally, um, uh, uh, there's the, the sickle cell study with metapivat called Rise Up, which is a phase two, phase three study evaluating metapivat and sickle cell disease. And that is following a successful phase one study in sickle cell disease. So, you know, ATP is good for red cells, as it turns out, um, and we're hopeful that um, that midipivat is as successful in these advanced studies in, in thalassemia and sickle cell disease as it has been in PK deficiency.